Hey cuties, I'm Lanikia and you're watching what happened on the soaps. This is General Hospital Edition. Alright guys, let's get into this on a scale of, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, today is Thursday, January the 19th, 2023. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it like a 7.5. It was solid. I, I, you know, it was solid. So come on y'all, let's get into it. So first of all, nobody asked to see these two, but y'all showed them and I said, are we still planning our wedding? Because they, they they got the seating arrangements. I was like, yes, okay. So sit everybody where they're going to sit. Let's go ahead and plan this wedding, girl. What else we need to do? Because I need the perfect wedding for the shenanigans that are about to go down at this wedding. So let's get it together. So around this time, because they're kissing and they're talking about the honeymoon, I said, mm-hmm, what honeymoon you going to go to, girl? And they're doing all of this. And then Marshall comes in. Now, Marshall comes in and um, they tell him that um, they would love for him to perform at the wedding. And he says he can't do it. And Curtis said, it sounds like excuses. Like he said he would love to, but he just can't, you know, and Curtis, he doesn't want to make the day about him, Marshall. This is Marshall talking, right? And Curtis says, that sounds like excuses. I said, oh, look at this grown ass man. Always, always feels like, I, I don't know. Curtis comes up. Do I like Curtis still? He comes off as always has to be his way. And he always has to know. Like the man said, he didn't want to do it. You could have left it at that. But Curtis is in his feelings about it now. So he wants to know why you don't want to perform at my wedding. Why you don't want to do this or whatever. And so then Marshall tells, and so Portia says, is it your disease? Do you feel like, and he says, when I have to perform solo, I get into a really dark place and I don't want to get into that place. So that's why I can't do it. And so Curtis says, um, he says, I really need you to respect that son because, and anybody with any decency that is not making it all about them. Y'all, I know it's your wedding and it's about you, but this has something to do with his mental health. Curtis is like, well, if, if, the, if you don't want to um play at my wedding it's not about him not wanting to he cannot do it <laughs> like what what are you not understanding he said he can't perform solo that's why he likes to perform in the band so he could just blend in he said but you perform solo at gh and he said that's for a few patients and they're not expecting much this is going to be for your wedding for your closest family and friends i don't want to mess it up for y'all baby they don't understand him and curtis is just like well if you don't want to do it i have to respect that i said take your butt on take your butt on so then um marshall is talking to portia and now because you know she's scared that trina go um is going to have mental health issue so she tells marshall i feel like why don't we go ahead and have because i know credits got checked or whatever but it's not the, like she should still get treated checked she said why don't we go ahead and see if you're checked because you might not have even had it and he just at this point on the preview they show him being like leave me alone girl why do you care so much why do you always bring this up I said, Portia do be pushing because she knows why. Baby, I'm ready for this wedding. When I tell y'all, I am, every time they show these two, I just want to hear plans about this wedding. I want to know <laughs> the flowers and everything. Yes, girl, plan it up. Plan you a good wedding with your lying self. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? So then Cam and Spencer, because, you know, Spencer was at, um, kelly's because he was there talking to ava and cam comes in and he, and spencer says what well, because cam comes running in he was like i forgot i picked up this shift and spencer says all you do is work now but cam is run, running from his feelings um that he feels for jocelyn <laughs> that he feels for jocelyn and um so he and spencer are talking when jocelyn comes in and she comes in and she says she's trying to get pie for willow and a soda and spencer is me why you got to come here when you know there's a possibility you're going to run into cam and she said this is my grandmother's place and yada 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 like but girl why you got to come here you know you might run into cam like jocelyn is acting like she's done nothing wrong to cam and for some of y'all you're like she didn't do any wrong she just broke up with him she had moved on 
<clears throat> but you know she did wrong because she's not honest about why she really broke up with Cam. And she doesn't want him to know that she's really with Dex. And so Spencer calling her out on this. He doesn't know why, but he says that whole breakup thing y'all talking about, it don't even make sense. And so Cam is like, stop trying to fight my battles for me. I got to go clock in. So, um, and plus, <laughs> Spencer says, the boy works all the time or something. And, and <laughs> it made it seem like Cam don't have a life. He said, Cam says, I have a life. <laughs> don't make me look bad in front of this girl. And she just broke up with me. <laughs> Baby, Spencer was trying to help, though. So then uh, Jocelyn said, Spencer, we've been friends since we were five years old. Um, but it's clear that you've chosen sides. I said, girl, you are hard on Spencer. She's really hard on Spencer. And I, honestly, the last year, I wouldn't say they were that close of friends. He, So it makes sense that he would be more towards Cam than Jocelyn. You've been really hard on him and you've been very judgmental with your judgmental butt it is what it is man i need another channel so i can really talk the way I, I i want to i think i might do that but anyways with your judgmental but you're really hard on cam and always excuse me not cam but spencer and always had something to say about what he was doing like you always had something to say so it would make sense that he's closer to cam now than he is to you he said yeah we are friends he said but cam is hurting right now and she was she trying to say she's hurting too i said girl go on you were not hurting when you laid all up okay but so then we see um cam and spencer and he continues to tell him i don't need you to fight my battles and he says that whole breakup that joss is trying to sell you that don't mean he said who who grows apart that's that's an excuse one-on-one -on -one. that doesn't even make sense and cam says i i believe her when she says this is hard on her too okay uh, it is hard on her because she can't tell the truth. It is hard on her because she can't be out in the open with Dex, but okay, Cam. And Spencer trying to tell this man, I don't know, it's more to it than that, but Cam doesn't want to believe it. And so Spencer said, all right then. So then we go over here to Dex and Michael. Now you would think with everything going on, Michael seemed to have grown a little bit closer to Sonny that um, he would be like, yeah whatever it was we were trying to do like just pause it you know even if it, you will honestly uh you would think he would be like i don't even want to do that anymore or just pause it but no he told he tells dix what's up and dix says well i was actually looking for sunny he says oh um you know so he asked him how willow is and he says how did you find out and he said well i walked in when joss uh sunny was telling joss <clears throat> and everything and he said, oh, okay. And then he asked him, what um, what did you have to tell me the other day? And he said, oh, it was not important. I took care of it. And really, it was, remember, he thought that Sonny was um, calling Jocelyn to his office because he had found out about Dex and Joss, but it wasn't. He was just telling her about uh, Willow had leukemia. But anyways, he says, he tells him, I took care of it. But Michael tells Dex, because Dex says, what do you need me to do for you? He says, just keep the plan going on my father so, you know, that we could take him down. I say, really? Even with Willow about to die? <clears throat> Excuse me. Y'all know what I mean. <clears throat> Excuse me. Even with Willow about to die? Even with Will the baby, at, you know, with the baby having to come early that doesn't okay okay you little petty okay let's move on so then joss <clears throat> makes it to the hospital she sees dex and she about to run her she's smiling and stuff that's why i said that's that's a lot of everything she told cam because she's smiling and stuff when she sees dex but then michael stopped her because he's like joss and she was like oh i was looking for you yeah girl but then she did have pie and everything so um she says how's willow and he's like she's good and well she's not good but you know she's stable and then uh she he tells her you know they found a bone marrow match and she says that's good news she said but why does every time i talk to you about mom you 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 seem a little frigid you tense up like what what's going on and so he says nina is the bone marrow match and she said what how, how is that possible and he, she he told her because nina is willow's mom and she said what and he was like you know how did you find out and all this so he tells her that carly knew and she's knew known for months and she didn't say anything so of course willow being carly's daughter she's going to try to defend her mom and so she said um well 
why i i can understand why mom did what she did so don't be too mad at her and he says uh you know because he tells willow it's not willow he tells jocelyn i don't know if i could ever forgive um her for what she's done and she said don't talk to her right now because you're so upset but i do understand because willow didn't want anything to do with nina and all and he said it doesn't matter it was willow's decision it wasn't up to carly to make that decision and you know josh is just like well don't talk to her right now because you too upset i said good luck on that and then um she leaves or whatnot and we see um hold on and then we see she meets up with dex right i don't know where they going but she meets up with dex so then we see nina and austin nina is still in this room i said girl i thought you left yesterday but she's still in this room and she's not doing well because you know she's anxious to find out you know if they're a match and can they can they go ahead and get the blood work and everything going she's just nervous so austin comes in and he's talking to her and she's telling him everything about willow being her daughter and you know he's like nina what do you need and she's like no no no, i'm, I'm good and she's just a mess so austin leaves her in the room and he calls Lisa and he tells her you need to get over here now nina needs you so when Lisa gets over there she says what's going on and he tells her she's um in that room in there and you know um, and so she was like, thank you so much. You helped with Brit. You helped with Nina. Thank you so much for taking care of them. And so she goes in the room with him, right? I mean, in the room with uh, Nina. And she's like, what's going on? And so then Nina tells Lisa what um, what all has transpired over the last day um, about Willow being her daughter. And she's like, what? And she said, it's a miracle. Like, I thought I had lost, lost any hope of having family which is why i fought for wiley so strongly because you know that was her last connection to the children she had to the child she thought she had lost now to find out find out she has another child but the child doesn't want anything to do with her and lisa just tells her it's okay um you know she says that but you're doing what you the best that you can for her which is giving her you you know being a match for her to do the transplant and she said and over time um you know you just keep reaching out and y'all keep working something out and it'll be it'll be okay over time she said because look at me and britta look at how our relationship was and then you know was like i shouldn't be doing this to you with all that and she was like no it actually helps me get my mind off of it but then nina lets her know i'm so angry with carly and i want revenge like i could really kill her and she says you know don't you know don't get like this don't get where you want to uh take revenge because i've been there and I know how it feels. So don't be like that. And she was like, you're right. She was like, just focus on um, your relationship with Willow and just leave Carly alone. And and that's the whole thing. Y'all leave each other alone. Dang. And Sonny pretty much said the same thing because he went into the chapel um, with, he went into the chapel with, um, hold on. Actually, I'm going to jump to this right here. So after that, um, Liesl leaves out, right? And she runs into Austin and she says, hey, Austin, has Esme Prince been released? He said, I don't know. She had um, an arraignment. I don't know if she's free or if, um, you know, she had to go to some kind of facility. He said, I, I really don't know. And she said, so she could be walking around. Britta's murderer could be walking around on the streets. And so she going to make her pay. And I said, well, uh-uh, you just said, <laughs> you was just saying, she said, I said that to help Nina out. Oh, Okay. So then we see Carly with um, Sonny, Carly with Sonny. He's walked into the chapel and he's about to leave. And Carly said, no, stay. We all need to pray. And so then they're talking oh, and then they start talking about Nina, of course, because that's the main topic, right? So he tells her, you did this on purpose. You got your revenge that you wanted. And she said, it was not about revenge. It was about Willow. And he says, listen, Carly you can lie to all these other people just like he told her the other day you can lie to drew but i know you he said i know you and i i, I know who you are and i know how you think and how you act he said you did this out of revenge you were mad that nina kept me away so you did this to get back at her and it hurt her and it's hurt willow um and she says I did not do this out of revenge, Sonny. Willow wanted nothing to do with Nina. And he says, well, now it's too, you know, it could have possibly been too late. 
you've to finally told the truth, but now it could have possibly been too late. And you say you care, but what about Wiley? What about the new baby? And she's like, that's a low blow, Sonny. You know, because she said, I already explained it to Michael and Willow. And he was like, you're going to have to explain it to them. And she was like, that's a low blow, Sonny. And he just told her, he was like, Willow and Nina's relationship deteriorated. And you saw that happening. You knew what was going on. And you could have, you, you knew what was going on. And then he tells her, um, you know, you want it, you want revenge on Nina? you know, Nina did you wrong. You wanted revenge. Let's just end it. Let this be the end of it. And she was like, of course you would only see Nina's side of it and everything. I don't understand how people are always like, Carly owns up to what she does. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she and Nina is my girl, but she nor Nina own up to what they do. They make excuses for what they do. And then they say, yes, I did this and it was wrong. But this always a but with both of them. <laughs> they say, yes, I was wrong for doing this, but these are the reasons why I did it. So no, neither one of them own up to anything and both of them are exactly alike. But anyways, y'all, so um, Sonny is just going off and, 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 uh, and everything on Carly. And she says, well, the man I know, know would have understood why I did what I did. You know, he would have he understand doing anything to protect your family and sometimes you have to bend the lines and she said that but you're not that man anymore and he said i'm not <laughs> you got to do things differently now and that's the whole problem even with michael y'all keep wanting him to be that sunny and he's not anymore like he's not that sunny all the way anymore he'll still do some things um but as far as going all out, bending the rules and doing all that. He's just not that sunny anymore. And plus, you know, y'all mad that he did that to your mama. But um, <laughs> anyways, Sonny and Carly, they just agree to disagree. And so she, she leaves him. And so when she walks out on, of the ele from the chapel and onto the floor, Michael is there. And I say, oh, this is going to be awkward. But she says, how, how is Willow and everything? And he's like, she's okay. Not that, not that, not that you help. Like, cause he's, he's mad at her for not telling the truth about who Nina was and for taking that choice from Willow, which is what we have. Most of us have said from the very beginning, if Carly had just told the truth and let Willow decide, even if she didn't tell Nina, even if she just told Willow, I found out who your mother is and you can decide if you want to tell Nina or not just them having that information might have changed some things but anyways uh, they said michael was supposed to go off on somebody friday and it looks like it's carly so then um before dex went with josh he went to see sunny and asked him you know do i need help with it? you know you called me he's sunny was like I, I got other stuff to worry about i got to check on nina it is what it is what whatever because dex really wants to take um sunny down and, and especially with this pikeman deal i said i don't know how this is all gonna work out so then sunny goes to nina and he's like are you okay and she said um yeah she's good and she's just gonna keep the faith and hope that one day she and willow can have some type of um bond or relationship and y'all that was uh general hospital day i find it so funny I'm done with the review, guys. I'm I'm done with the recap. I'm just talking now. So you don't have to stay for this part. I find it so funny that um, Michael is so upset. And he can be like, Carly wanted revenge. And that's why she did this. She wanted revenge. But he doesn't see that he's doing the exact same thing. Like, Michael, you do the exact same thing that Carly is doing um, that you say Carly did. But because it's you, you feel more justified in it, even though you're doing it because you're mad uh, that he left your mom. That's how this whole thing started, because Sonny left um, Carly and Carly has been over Sonny leaving her and everything. And then when Carly tries to say, no, I didn't I didn't do this because I wanted revenge. But remember when she lost Metro Court and she told Nina, she they did a flashback of her getting the DNA results. And then she told Nina, I'm going home. You can have Sonny. I'm going to be with my family, knowing that Willow was Nina's daughter. That's why I'm like, girl, just admit you did this out of revenge. And I get it. I could understand why she would do that out of revenge. But she just won't, won't admit that that's exactly why she did it for whatever reason all right y'all mila's here <laughs> she's ready to go 
So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.